guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm making a toddler's princess room and this is for two toddlers. One of them is up the stairs so you need to make sure your toddler has the motor skill and can walk up the stairs to it but both beds are totally functional and I've made a princess bed. I'm not gonna lie I'm not 100% happy with this but I needed a video out this week so it was a little bit rushed but I am gonna make an improved version I think and do a tutorial on how I do this little princess bed when I've perfected it a little bit more. I saw a Pinterest picture of like these princess beds I get a lot of my inspiration off Pinterest it is the best place ever to get inspiration so if you ever want to build something and you're really unsure what to build Pinterest is the way forward so yeah it is totally based off this princess bed build so you've got this top bit which the sims can walk across the top they can also go in the turret on the left hand side here the one on the right because I've done the stairs going down that side you could technically if you wanted move the stairs so you could walk onto that turret section but I didn't like how far the stairs ended up sticking out so I changed that later on it so that one's technically not accessible I'll show you here look so the stairs are sticking really far out but I needed the platform to be up that height for the toddler bed underneath it to be totally accessible and I do place another toddler bed above this the way I do it is I balance it on the edge of the platform Sometimes you can get away with holding the nine key to raise up the beds But for this height it doesn't work with the toddler beds. You need it to balance on the edge of the platform so And if you can't do that because sometimes it doesn't work It is because you have a closed room. So if you can see at the minute I only have a Two walls. I don't have the full room enclosed in and for some reason that makes it work where you can balance the bed on the edge of the platform I didn't realize this when I was making my tutorials in the past and those of people saying it wasn't working and I've since found out that that is why because I always build my houses not houses rooms like this because it is easier for you guys to see while recording and I close it in at the end also platforms cause major problems with shadows so you will see at the end there is some really horrible shadows it is because of the platforms there's not really much you can do about this I'd end up deleting one single wall just so it looks a little bit nicer for the end of the build. But yeah, it's super annoying. It's just a common problem that is found in The Sims. So I decided to actually end up using one of these things that go on the side of the house, like a little balcony, as the bit where the toddler bed goes. And I placed this in the basement because you couldn't place it on the same level or your toddler wouldn't be able to access the bed. So putting it in the basement just tricks your Sims, thinking nothing is actually there, even though you can see it. And you can see there's some lighting problems, but it's really simple. You just get rid of the basement and it lightens up again. So I also have some build, not build, some videos lined up that you guys want. I mentioned it in my previous video. I will be doing an expansion packs, sort of like tier li list slash ratings thing based on me as a builder. Cause somebody did say they did want that. So I will go ahead and do that. And I'm also gonna do a tutorial on roofing. So what I'm going to do with a roofing one is go into a basics of roofing and then if you want a more in depth about certain types of roofs, roofs you can request them in the comments and I'll go more in depth because roofing it can be really complicated so if I just go into the really bare basics at first and what sort of best way is to roof um, as a beginner I think that'll be best as a base video and then go on from there. So yeah, I made this as pink as possible. And again, this was based on a Pinterest video. It did have a nice white carpet and a pink rug. Instead of using a pink rug, I use this weird little thing that goes around the outside, like little decal things, and place that around. You can change the sizes of this because it does come in different shapes, like there is corners and straight pieces. And I'm doing the basement trick here again because I want the curtains small and sometimes when you size down the curtains they end up being too high up on the wall so I just go ahead and put them in the basement raise them up to the exact point that I want them so that's a little trick too I do this with windows if you want mini windows you, you do something in the basement I have a video already about how to size windows down because if you didn't know if you do size a window down you get some weird glitching big hole in the wall so I do have a little sneaky way of getting tinier versions of those windows. 
But now I'm not really going off any Pinterest things. It was just the bed that was shown in the picture and it did have little towers in it, but I wanted the Sim to be able to walk in there. So I didn't put anything in the actual towers. I could have put something in the right hand one, but then I was like, it looks unbalanced. So I ended up not doing that. And I ended up putting two chairs down. I did like a mummy and baby, well baby, mummy and toddler chair. And I did the toddler chair, chair trick where I size down the chair, but I make it usable by using tool mod. Um, again, I have a tutorial on how to do this. I think it's just as a short, but if you have tool mod, you can make toddlers sit down on a size down chair because normally they would float in the air. I was gonna put a slide in this build and then I was like, no, it's just a little bit too big for the bedroom. Before anybody asks where the slides are from, the slides you can get are from the toddler stuff pack. I don't believe you can get it anymore, but if you did get growing together before a certain date, there was a slide in that also. And it's just a slide that toddlers can use. Um, I don't think children can use it. I think it's toddlers only. So this is the point where I'm putting the walls in and you will see some horrible shadows start to show when I put the roof on. So I'm just making sure every section has roofing because platforms and roofing is the, an absolute nightmare. But then you get these horrible shadows when the roofing is on. So you could have left a section open, but then your sim was gonna be rained on. I don't know if putting a, a roof on, like a normal like hip roof or anything would stop that. Um, I don't really play that often, so I'm not sure. But you can see I'm trying to lighten up here with loads of lights just sizing them down really small to try and hide the shadows, but you can still see them pretty bad. So yeah, platforms can be super annoying for that. I had to add a fancy door, of course. So I'm using this pink door, which is this from Get Famous? I can't remember. And then I'm also using some pink windows also. Um, I will put this in the gallery, even though I'm not 100% happy with it and do want to revise it a little bit, but I'll pop it in the gallery because some of you will might enjoy this build. And there is certain aspects I really, really love about it, but there's just some things I just don't. So here I am doing the little trick thing and I do have to put this chair in the basement. I don't know if I do that off camera. No, I do it on camera. So I'm popping the chair in the basement and raising it up and then using tool mod on another chair underneath and lowering it down slightly. So your toddler will sit on it perfectly fine. I feel like I need some more stuff on the walls. The walls are pretty bare. I don't know if it's just me because I like to fill in the things a lot. I like to add quite a lot of, not clutter per se, but just stuff. And this little bit down the side was really annoying me. I wish I'd have made the room just one square bigger so they want just like a single tile bit down the side. But we live and we learn. But that is almost the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you have any ideas for videos, don't forget to comment down below and I will write it in my little requests book. But I will see you in my next video. Bye.